there comes a time in every man's life where you just have to admit you could never, ever compare to the greatest of humankind. <laughs> Hello there guys, welcome back. I haven't done a video like this in a while, but I was inspired. My friend actually got this person suggested on his feed and he shared it with us, like uh, his friends. I'm one of his friends. Yep, yeah, you can tell I haven't done this in a while. And I am nothing if not in awe of just how pure and wholesome this man is. Rate my takeaway. And honestly, he's, he's from North, barely understand a word he's saying, but God, the way he eats food, it just mesmerizes me. Let's see, what do we have here? This takeaway is selling a 90s throwback box. Hell and guys, how we doing? Fucking hell. Throwback with turkey twizzlers, smiley faces, and so many memories. Meals brought him back to his childhood. By the way, I'd like to apologize. I'm going to do a lot of Northern accents in this. Uh, I can't help it. It's a curse. I hear a Northern accent. I just have to do it as well. So we're going to go try it, back, try it out. It's going to be like a flashback. What? Like back to the future. Bush, let's go for it. Lily's here we come. Fuck me, look at the scenery. This social club operating inside it is a little food venue. <laughs> Why does it sound like he's going undercover? This is like a crime documentary. Now, it's not just any takeaway. Alright. These guys are giving out something special. Something special. Right. So I'm gonna go in it, go inside it now, and I'm gonna have to try this. I mean, I'm that anxious, that that nervous about getting all this. I can't even get my words out. I've never seen someone so happy and excited to see smiley faces <laughs> once again. Don't they still sell them at supermarkets? Get my mask on. All right. Fucking hell! Did you see what this place looks like? It looks like a bloody, I don't even know, a homeless person unit. Hey, hey up, old Joe. How's it going? Yeah, fucking hell! <laughs> What's he doing? Crap, posted. Now then, Mary, you all right? Yeah, good, yourself? I have, I've travelled quite a way to come and see you today. <laughs> Can you? I wish I could see the... <laughs> uh, I can't remember what it's called, but the cleanliness rating they get out of five stars. <laughs> this play, it's got a fucking printer. <laughs> Plugs on it and a radio. you love to see it. Can you tell me what I've come for today? Because I, I think you know. The 90s box. The 90s box. I've heard legend of the 90s box with turkey twizzlers and sm- Back in the day when I got told off with my mum, I'm having two cans of pop, mum, I'm having no fruit shoes. Oh, oh, come on. God, I need, like, subtitles. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm safe today. <laughs> he carries a table and chair with him everywhere he goes. Fantastic. I'm excited about this, my mum. You know what, mate? I'm just going to tuck in like a little kid would. I'm actually anxious to see what he brings out of this box. I haven't seen this video before. Thank you. <laughs> Look at this guy. So I've got my pop. Never mind fruit shoots, mum. I can have fizzy pop today because I'm a little bit older. So let's crack a bit of tango open. All right, let's go for this. Wet me whistle first. But, I'm so excited about oh, this. Okay, we don't right. need a review of the tango. Oh, oh, oh. Back to the 90s box. Are you ready? Oh my god. Whack. Look at that. <laughs> Curly fries. Little waffles. Chicken nuggets. Smiley faces. Chicken drummers. Oh. Chicken dinosaurs. Beans, spaghetti, and a bit of pizza. The fact that it's in a pizza box offends me so much. God, all the food's like the same colour. <laughs> it's like all the food's just beige. <laughs> it's got a lot. I mean, we used to do this, didn't we? Over the mountain you go. It is a proper back to your childhood box, isn't it? You know, at the moment, they've created a piece of genius here. A piece of genius? He's never seen anything like it. So, let's get in. Let's, let's try these fries. Oh, God. The fast forward on him chewing. Waffles. Little mini waffles. Look at these. Now, I can taste at these. Go on. What do they taste like? These taste a lot better. He's a fucking connoisseur. He's a food critic. He doesn't take anything less than perfect. Right, this guy's palate has been trained. They're obviously not just banging oven, knocking it up to 180 and leaving it for half an hour like mum used to do and burn it corners. He's got like, he knows the system. He knows how these fucking waffles are cooked, alright? Spaghetti oops. Are you ready? Oh, oh, oh. 
Why is he smelling the hoops? Isn't doesn't it all smell the fucking same? When you were a kid, you didn't like things like Chinese and curries and stuff like that. This is the kind of food that you wanted. He's racist. <laughs> and then when you grow up, you're eating the Chinese and the kebabs and the curries, and you stay away from this. But why? You can't comprehend it. Why would you leave this food? Why would you make life choices to go away from this yellow food? So let's go in. Let's get Mr. Dinosaur. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm behaving like a kid here because it says dipping in beans. Oh. Drink the bean juice. I just don't understand how this has never been done before. That this restaurant is like famous on social media and it's spreading across the north of England. Deep fry some fucking potatoes, put pots of beans next to it and a small pizza. I don't understand. I I'm pissed because I don't know why I didn't think of it. <laughs> I want to make it clear. I'm not criticizing this man. This man's a genius and a god. I love him. I worship him. He's my idol. I'm talking about this restaurant. It's just crazy that this is like, I don't know, breaking news. I can taste a, a nice bit of beef dripping here. So it is cooked for that older palate as well. The older palate? <laughs> it's fucking potatoes fried. If your mum said to you, what do you want for tea tonight? What would you have? I'll tell you what, what I used to love was crispy pancakes. And I always thought they were meant to be shallow fried, because that's what my mum did. <laughs> but that's actually not, you're just meant to put them in the oven. I was having crispy pancakes fucking fried, good God. Well, that piping up, they used to burn your mouth. <laughs> Look how cautious he is blowing the baby slices. He's not burning his mouth, this man, he's an expert. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Look at these. So, these were banned. Thank you, Jamie Oliver. Oh, put this in your mouth. And it's like when you watch these films and people have apple pie and that flashback to what grandma used to have. <laughs> Look what Jamie Oliver's ruined. You've ruined so many childhood... See, I'm speechless. I can't even get my words out right. I'm so distraught with Jamie Oliver. There's a lot of food here. Really? Is it worth what we've paid for it? Wait, no, I need to know now how much this all was. Waffles, chicken nuggets, smiley faces. Beans. Spaghetti, two cans of pop. All right. He's forgot the bloody drumsticks. So for me, I think it's well worth it. Well worth it. I never in a million years thought I would be rating food like this. This is a dream for this man, and he's achieving it. Never in a million years did I think I'd be rating chicken dinosaurs, turkey twiddlers, and smiley faces. I had to get another mouthful to continue the story. It's a ten from me. I'm gonna give it a ten. Just for my childhood dreams. Thank you very much. See you next episode. Do you all understand now why I need to share the brilliance of this man? All right, this is actually another video that I did start, but I didn't finish it. But he's going for a nibble and nosh roast dinner takeaway in Harrogate. Harrogate? Harrogate? I don't know how the northerners speak. Now then, guys. So we're here at nibble and nosh in Harrogate. Harrogate. Giant paninis. Look at... Look at the diversity of this place. Roast dinners, giant paninis, and burritos. Oh, 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 look at me. So, whilst I'm getting set up, let me tell you about this place. So, nibble and nosh. All right, get me cutlery out that they give me. <laughs> Fucking lethal weapon. All right, nibble and nosh. Nibble and nosh. <laughs> it's a bit right. I'm sitting down here. It's fucking pissing down, and he's just sad. He's so dedicated. So, ask for it. So obviously I'm stood watching what he does, just warm through it, microwave. So let's have a look. So we've got nibble and nosh. This is all just microwave. I don't know if I'm watching too much, uh, too much, God, I forgot his name. I guess I'm not watching too much, too much Gordon Ramsay, but having it microwave, the whole roast dinner, including the Yorkshire pudding. Sounds kind of disgusting. Are we ready? Oh, look at that. This roast beef dinner with extra gravy. £6.50. Alright, let's get a bit more gravy. I like mine swimming in gravy, me. I bet you do. It cost me a quid for a can of pot, so all in all, £7.50 for this meal. Let's get into these. Look at these carrots. Big sliced carrots. Fucking carrots! Bit of mash. Ooh. Wait up. I thought that was mash. It turns out it's bleeding cauliflower. He got fucking tricked. The bastard thought it was mash. What's this about here? I well, like some kind of. What's the cauliflower cheese? I thought it was a lump of mash. He's so distraught that it's not mash. Bit deceiving. Look like mashed potato like with that on top. 
In fact, he's going to call the police in a minute. Bit of broccoli. Nicely cut there, that. <laughs> then a bit of rain just fall right on the fucking bor bo broccoli. Mmm. I was a bit worried when I saw him put the shit microwave. I thought, bleed neck. Yeah, to be fair, that's, that's a red flag. Now, here we go. Roast taties. I've got to be honest with you. They don't look that cracking. Boo! Microwave potatoes. Fucking hell. Bit of a letdown at roast taties. I think that's because they've been warmed up. That is why they're horrible. Even the Yorkshire pudding just looks like fucking... Like he's torn a wet nappy apart. So you've got one, two, three, four slices of beef in this bad boy. You fair, that's a lot of beef. To cut with to hold knife and forks. <laughs> this fucking wooden knife and fork, of course, is tough to cut. The wood's cracked. The wood's cracked. This poor guy, though, I mean, he's powering through it. Respect to him. He has the commitment for the cause. Nice tasty bit of beef. At least the beef's all right. Let's try and make this into a Yorkshire pudding wrap. I didn't know I was about to see how the burritos in that place are made. Might be a bit. <laughs> yeah. That ain't gonna work. Bit of a sticky situation, isn't it? Pull this bell. Let's have a bite here. Is this the northern equivalent of a mukbang? I think it is. And honestly, I'm in all the way. All my money. Right, guys. So, review. Alright, if I'm honest with you, it's not one of the best. Not one of the best, you fucking sick bastards. How could you serve this man food from a microwave? Did you see how he was dissecting the fucking waffles? He knew they weren't just thrown in the oven. And you're giving this man microwave roast dinners in a massive Yorkshire pudding, you f It is probably a little bit undercooked to me. You should be ashamed of yourselves. It's not fresh, you can tell these aren't fresh out of oven. You can't serve microwave potatoes. Microwave potatoes are disgusting. I probably won't. I, I'll probably go somewhere else, to be honest. I don't think I've ever seen him so disappointed. <laughs> you know what? This just shows that he is actually a master of his craft. I thought he was just giving everyone eights, nines, and tens. Well, I don't know what his number will be, but he's clearly disappointed. I have to admit, this uh, this guy deserves a lot more credit. It's not somewhere I'd go back and pay a 650 and think I want to go get one of them again. I'm going to give this a six today. A six, you poor bastards. Don't forget, guys, we don't waste none of this. If I don't eat it myself, my cameraman will have some. Well, I'm glad the cameraman eats. If you live around here and you want to nibble at a nosh, get down, try it out with Adagate. There you go, guys. See you next time. Let's hope the weather's a little bit better. He's still going at it. Anyway, guys, I, uh, I hope you enjoyed. I really enjoy watching this guy's videos. And please, please, if you did get this far, subscribe to this guy's channel because he's only growing and I want to see him make many, many more videos. Um, hopefully he can actually come to the south and stuff. That might be that might be really, really cool, really fun. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. Seriously, I appreciate it. First time back making this kind of videos after all the podcasts. Uh, but yeah, hope you stick around.